friends good afternoon good afternoon sir we have started with the numericals of uh, i have uploaded uh, all the i kona ta mute kara माइक जैसे सुरुआत म्यूट करा ओके सो इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड विथ न्यूमरिकल्स ऑफ दिस यूनिट आल्सो एंड आई हैव अपलोडेड इट हैव यू सीन दोज वीडियो लेक्चर्स अभी क्षितिज लेक्चर्स बगित ले का ठीक yes, है जो जे न्यू कमर्स है फॉर न्यू कमर्स यू शेयर मी युअर ईमेल आईडीज ऑन द ग्रुप सो दैट आई जॉइन यू टू द ग्रुप वेर आई हैव स्टोर्ड द ऑल द वीडियो लेक्चर्स अपने आतापर्यत जे लेक्चर्स हैं सगले के सगले मत एक वीस लेक्चर्स है सर्व लेक्चर्स मी अपने विद्यार्थ्या शेयर के लिए तुम ईमेल आई डी मैं ग्रुप वर टाका आई शेयर यू ऑल द वीडियो लेक्चर्स सो दैट यू कैन गो थ्रू दोज लेक्चर्स एंड इफ यू फाइंड एनी डिफिकल्टी विल सॉल्व दैट पर्टिक्युलर डिफिकल्टी ओके और फॉर द लेट कमर्स Will uh, revise the syllabus once. That is not an issue. Okay. So let us uh, begin our discussion uh, with a new problem, numerical. So yesterday we have calculated this. So now next is this. Uh, in previous class we have completed the numericals on. the forced response of the rc and rl circuits now in this uh, lecture we'll see the source free response for rc and rl circuits so as you know source free response means the source it was initially it might be connected to that particular circuit but at time t equal to 0 onwards that source has been removed from the circuit so that is the source free response and forced response means what before time t equal to 0 there was no source connected to the circuit but at time t equal to 0 onwards we are connecting the source to the circuit so that is the uh, source free response and the response having the source or forced response okay so let us tackle this problem in this problem the switch was connected at this position means this 200 volt source was connected to this rc circuit for infinite amount of time and at time t equal to 0 we have opened this circuit open this switch that means we have removed this 200 volt battery from this rc circuit so that's why it is a source free response okay now what you have to do you have to calculate the current equation find the current equation when the switch was opened at time t equal to 0 now at time t equal to 0 we have opened this switch so first draw the equivalent circuit so as this switch is open it will be only a rc circuit so its equivalent circuit at time t equal to 0 plus will be this simply a capacitor of 5 microfarad and a resistor of 50 ohm 
so this connected so the, and current flowing through that is i of t now this is the equivalent circuit we are interested to find equation of this current i of t so how to find this equation of i of t for that purpose you apply kvl for this loop so if you will apply kvl for this loop it will be voltage across this resistance plus voltage across this capacitor equal to 0 right so voltage across resistor is 50 i into r so r value is given as 50 into i of t so this is the voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this capacitor now same current is flowing through this so it is equal to voltage on capacitor will be 1 upon c integral ic dt so 1 upon c is 5 microfarad so 5 into 10 raised to minus 6 integration of it dt so equal to 0 because there is no source right so this is the equation now we want to represent this equation in terms of a differential equation so for that purpose we want to remove this integration sign so differentiate this equation once as you will differentiate it once you will find it is 50 into dit by dt plus 1 by c as it is this integration and differentiation will get cancel with each other so it will be simply i of t equal to 0 so this is the equation of uh, differential equation now in this differential equation we want that the coefficient of this uh, differentiation term first order differentiation term that should be 1 so that's why divided by 50 so it will be di, di by dt plus this 1 upon 5 10 raised to minus 6 into this 50 so divide by 50 into i of t equal to 0 now uh, this 15 into 5 is 250 so dit by dt plus 1 upon 250 into 10 raise to minus 6 into i of t equal to 0 let us say this is equation number 1 now we know that this is the first order differential equation and solution of this differential equation this is of the order of uh, of the form of dy by dx plus py equal to q right so this is dy by dx that is dit by dt plus py so this is p and this is y and equal to q so q value is zero here right so its solution will be e raised to power integrating factor that is e raised to power p into t so p into x that is p into t so p value you put here into t e raised to p t will be your integrating factor into y that is i of t is equal to constant because the term integration of integrating factor into q into dt that is q is zero so that term will vanish and only a constant c will remain okay so uh, take this exponential term on that side so i of t will be equal to c into e raised to power minus 1 over 250 into 10 raised to minus 6 t so this is the equation which we are interested to find now the only thing we want to find is the value of this constant so in order to find the value of constant what we are doing we are taking the initial conditions so what are the initial conditions now prior to open this switch at t equal to 0 this switch was closed for a long time so for infinite amount of time this switch was closed so what will be voltage on this capacitor it will be same as that of this 200 so 200 volts will be the voltage stored on this capacitor now the current flowing through this it was at time t equal to 0 minus or time t equal to 0 plus this current will be this voltage divided by this resistance so that's why it will be 200 volt divided by 50 so that will be 4 amperes current flowing through this 
Okay. Now, at time t equal to zero minus, the charge on this capacitor was two hundred. Now, suddenly you have opened this switch at time t equal to zero. So, same voltage will be carried to the next part because, as we know that this capacitor opposes sudden changes in voltage. That's why. The charge on capacitor that is VC at zero plus also it will remain as two hundred volt, and therefore current flowing through that circuit at time t equal to zero minus as well as t equal to zero plus will be same as VC upon R that is two hundred upon fifty that is four ampere. Now this I of zero you know as four ampere. Put this value in equation number two. So it is I of t equal to C into e raised to power something into t, right? So I of t is four because t value we are substituting it as zero at initial condition. So I of zero is four ampere. So four equal to C into e raised to power zero, that is one. So C equal to four. Directly we have got the value of constant C. Now substitute this value of constant in equation number two, so that the equation uh, desired equation of I of t you will get I of t is equal to four into e raised to power minus one over two hundred fifty into ten raised to minus six t amperes. So I hope it is clear to you. Now we will move to the second numerical, next numerical. So in this numerical also, this is also a source-free response type. Okay. So initially, this switch was at position one for a long time. So for infinite amount of time, this switch was placed at position one, and at time t equal to zero, we have removed this switch from position one to two, so that this source of hundred volt it will be removed from this RL circuit, right? So, understood what is the circuit, and your problem given is for the circuit in the figure. Find the equation of current when the switch is changed from position one to position two at time t equal to zero. So, at time t equal to zero, we have changed this position of switch from one to two. That means we have removed this hundred volt source from this RL circuit. Prior to that, this 100 volt source along with this 20 ohm resistor it was connected to this rl circuit okay for infinite amount of time now again whatever may be the problem if you want to find out equation of any current or voltage through this rl rc circuit then what we are doing draw the equivalent circuit at time t equal to 0 Okay, so for time t equal to zero, at time t equal to zero, we have changed this position of switch from one to two. So equivalent circuit will become this. That is this only R and L connected. That's all. So for this R L circuit, so I have drawn it, redrawn it here. So for this particular circuit, you apply K V L. So if you will apply K V L for this circuit, it is simply Resistance uh, voltage across this resistance plus voltage across this inductor equal to zero. So voltage across resistor is I into R. So R value is given as thirty. So thirty into I of T plus L D I by D T will be the voltage across this inductor. L value is given as point two. So point two into D I by D T equal to zero. So V R plus V L equal to zero. Is the KVL applied to this? Now we want to form a differential equation, and in that differential equation, the highest order uh, differential term, the coefficient of that should be one. So, in order to make coefficient of this di by dt term one, we'll divide the, this equation by point two. So it is di by dt plus. 30 divided by 0.2 into i of t equal to zero. So if you will um, do this calculation, it is 150 i of t. 
So di by dt plus 150 i of t, it is equal to zero. So this is the differential equation. Mark this as equation number one. Now solution of this differential equation is you know this is di by dt plus p i equal to zero. That is q. This is of that form. So the equation uh, solution of this equation is e raised to power that is integrating factor e raised to power p into t that is 150 into t into i of t equal to c. Now take this exponential term on that side. So it is i of t is equal to c into e raised to power minus 150 t. This is the required equation of i of t. Now the only task remained is. to find the value of constant c so if you want to find constant c the value of constant c then what we are doing we are we are using the initial conditions so what are the initial conditions at time t equal to 0 we have changed the switch from position 1 to position 2 prior to that it was at position 1 for infinite amount of time so if the switch was placed at position 1 for a infinite amount of time then we know that the property of inductor is after infinite amount of time it will act as if it is a short circuit so this voltage will be connected to this 20 ohm and 30 ohm in series so this will be the path for current and the amount of current flowing through this you can calculate it by 100 divided by 30 plus 20 50 that is 2 ampere so the value of current at time t equal to 0 minus and time t equal to 0 plus it will remain same because the inductor opposes sudden changes in current so as inductor is opposing sudden changes in current the same current will be maintained prior to switching and immediately after switching that is we have switched uh, change the position of switch at time t equal to 0 so time t equal to 0 minus is just before that time t equal to 0 and t equal to 0 plus is the time just after the time t equal to 0 so at both these instances the value of current will remain same and that is equal to v upon r that is 100 divided by 20 plus 30 that is 2 amperes now this is the initial condition we know i of 0 plus equal to i of 0 minus equal to 2 ampere put this initial condition in equation number 2 so that it is i of 0 that is 2 is equal to c into e raised to 0 that is 1 so c is directly 2 so value of c now we have computed it is 2 substitute this value in equation number 2 so that you will get i of t is equal to 2 into e raised to minus 150 t ampere so this is the required equation of current which we were, we were interested to find so i hope you have understood the same and assuming that we we'll move to next problem so this is the numerical the switch was placed at position 1 for infinite amount of time that means this voltage source was connected to this particular rl circuit for infinite amount of time and at time t equal to 0 we have opened this switch means we have removed this 50 volt source from this rc circuit right so that means this is also a case of or problem of the source free response right now what is the problem given for the given uh, circuit given in the figure find out the current equation when switch is opened at uh, opened that is at position 2 at time t equal to 0 okay so by looking to the problem you should be able to understand what is given to you and what is asked to you and how you will tackle the problem now 
it is source free response so first thing is you draw the equivalent circuit at time t equal to 0 plus so at time t equal to 0 plus at time t equal to 0 we have opened this switch so it is only this rl circuit so this rl circuit we have drawn this is the equivalent circuit at time t equal to 0 plus okay so at time t equal to 0 as we have opened this switch the equivalent circuit will become this and as this is the equivalent circuit for this equivalent circuit blindly we have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law so we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law so it is 20 into i of t plus 20 into i of t plus this l di by dt that is 2 into di by dt so we have to take voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this inductor equal to zero so this simple kvl we have applied and it is equal to zero because there is no source so these two terms you can club i of t so it is 40 i of t plus 2 into di t by dt equal to zero so this is the required differential equation now we want that all the time we want that the coefficient of highest order uh, term should be one so that means this di by dt coefficient should be one so you have to divide the equation throughout by equa uh, two so it will be di t by dt plus this 40 by 2 that is 20 i of t equal to 0 let us say this is equation number 1 now this is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to 0 q q value is 0 p value is 20 so solution of this differential equation will be integrating factor that is e raised to power p into t so e raised to power 20t will be your integrating factor into i of t is equal to the only constant c because the term integration of integrating factor into q into dt so as q is zero that term will vanish so only c will be there so take out this exponential on this side so you will get i of t equal to c into e raised to power minus 20t so let us say this is equation number 2 which is the desired equation we are interested in, in finding okay the only thing remaining is your value finding value of constant c so in order to find value of constant c what we are doing we are using the initial condition now what is the initial condition in this case before time t equal to 0 switch was placed at time, uh, at position 1 for infinite amount of time so as infinite amount of time this switch was closed means this source was connected to this particular inductor circuit this inductor will act as if it is a short circuit so the equivalent circuit before time t equal to 0 will be this supply voltage of 50 volt this resistance in parallel with this resistance so 20 ohm parallel 20 ohm these two resistances are in parallel and connected to a source of 50 volt so what will be the current flowing through this particular 20 ohm simply you can take uh, use ohms law to find this so 50 upon 20 will be 2.5 ampere current flowing through this this branch or through inductor yes so at time t equal to 0 switch is open so for a long time as switch was connected to 50 volt source therefore inductor has acted as a short circuit and at time t equal to 0 minus this is the equivalent circuit and the current flowing at time t equal to 0 minus it is given by v by r it is 50 by 20 is equal to 2.5 amperes now at time t equal to 0 we have changed the position of switch but we know that inductor opposes sudden changes in current that means il of 0 minus equal to il of 0 plus that's why il of 0 plus will be equal to il of 0 minus equal to 2.5 amperes so this is the initial condition we got now 
you substitute this initial condition in equation number 2 so that it will become i of t that is i of 0 that is 2.5 equal to c into e raised to power minus 20 t t is 0 so e raised to power 0 it is 1 so c is directly 2.5 so value of c we got it as 2.5 substitute the value of this in equation number 2 and you will get the equation as i of t equal to 2.5 e raised to power minus 20 t amperes is the desired equation which we were interested so understood this if yes we'll move to next problem that is this is the circuit given to you this 50 volt sub source 10 ohm resistance and this is the switch this switch was closed for infinite amount of time that means it was connected to this rc circuit for infinite amount of time and at time t equal to 0 we have opened this switch so we have removed this source from this rc circuit so again it is a source free response example now in the example it is asked find the equation of current i of t when switch is opened at time t equal to 0 right now at time t equal to 0 we have opened the switch so if we want to find any equation of current or voltage blindly you draw the equivalent circuit first at time t equal to 0 plus and then apply kvl to that find out the differential equation after getting the differential equation you make sure that the coefficient of highest degree of that um, differential term will be 1 and for that differential equation you find out what is the solution and in order to find the value of constant use the initial condition substitute the value of initial condition in that you will get the value of constant substitute the constant in again in the equation you will get the desired equation that's all this simple is the process procedure for solving any numerical in this chapter okay and a general solution of differential equation i have given to you whether it is source free response or it is a forced response only one type of solution that is integrating factor which is given by e raised to power pt into your variable y is equal to integration of integrating factor into q plus a constant c that's all this is the solution of that differential equation only values of p and q may vary in the numerical so depending on the values of p and q your solution will be different okay so time is running out we move fast okay so we are drawn the equivalent circuit at time t equal to 0 plus so at time t equal to 0 plus we have removed this source so only this rc circuit is there so 5 ohm 2 microfarad and 10 ohm resistor so this is the circuit for this particular circuit we apply kvl and it is simple as voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this capacitor equal to zero so voltage across this resistor is 5 into i of t voltage across this resistor is 10 into i of t and voltage across capacitor is 1 over c integration ic dt so 1 over c means 1 upon c is 2 microfarad 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 i of t dt equal to zero then since integration term is there you differentiate this equation by ones so if you will differentiate this equation by once you will find that it is 15 dit by dt plus 2 or 1 upon 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 i of t equal to 0 coefficient of this term should be 1 so divide whole equation by 15 you will get this equation let us mark this equation as equation number 1 and purposely i have marked the equation numbers also same so that you will keep in mind the procedure is same entire throughout the chapter i have maintained the flow so you will find that 
this equation, differential equation, I have given number as 1. Then the solution of this differential equation as number 2. Then finding the constant C, you have to apply initial condition, substitute it again in equation 2, you will get the desired equation. Okay. So the solution of this differential equation is E raised to PT. P is 1 upon 30 into 10 raised to minus 6 into I of T equal to C. Take this exponential term on another side. So I of T is equal to C into exponential of minus 1 over 30 into 10 raised to minus 6 T. So this is the equation, desired equation. Now we want to find solution of this, uh, sorry, we uh, want to find the value of this constant C. So for that purpose, we apply the initial condition. As the switch was closed for a long time before T equal to 0, therefore capacitor will act as if it is an open circuit at time T equal to 0 minus and the current flowing through 10 ohm resistor is given by V upon R is equal to 50 upon 10 plus 10 is equal to 2.5 ampere and as the switch is moved from one position to another at time T equal to 0, we know that the capacitor opposes sudden changes in voltage. That's why this current will remain same at time t equal to 0 plus also. So I at 0 plus equal to I at 0 minus, it is equal to 2.5 ampere. Now put this initial condition in equation number 2. So it is 2.5 equal to C into E raised to power 0. That is C is directly 2.5. So I of t, substitute this value of C in equation number 2, you will get I of t is equal to 2.5 into e raised to power minus 1 by 30 into 10 raised to minus 60 amperes. So this is the desired equation which we are interested to find. Right? Now last problem, as time is running out, we will move fast. So at time t equal to 0, we have closed this switch and find the complete expression of current when the switch is closed at time t equal to 0. So at time t equal to 0, we have closed the switch. So as this switch is closed, this 30 ohm resistor will be bypassed. Right? So what is the equivalent circuit? The equivalent circuit will be this R and L along with this source. So I have drawn this equivalent circuit and applied KVL for this equivalent circuit. So if you will apply KVL for this, it is 20 into I of T, that is voltage across this resistor plus voltage across this inductor equal to this multi. So 20 I of T plus 0.1 into DIT by DT is equal to 100. Now, for this highest order, coefficient should be 1 to divide the equation, entire equation by 0.1. So it is DIT by DT plus 200 IT is equal to 1000. This is equation number 1. Since this is the uh, differential equation of the order dy by dx plus py is equal to q form. So its solution is given as integrating factor into y is equal to integration of integrating factor into q into dt plus c. Okay. Now solve this integration first. 1000 is constant. Take it out. So e raised to at integration, the integration of e raised to at with respect to t, it is e raised to at upon a. So after solving this integration, you divided this whole equation by e raised to 200 t. So you will get i of t is equal to this 1000 by 200 is 5 plus this e raised to 200 t will cancel with this e raised to 200 t plus c into e raised to minus 200 t. This is equation number 2, which is the desired equation which we are interested to find. Only thing we want to find now constant C. So for finding constant C, use initial condition. So prior to pressing the switch at time t equal to 0, this switch was open for infinite amount of time. As this switch was open, this resistor was connected in the circuit. So that means this circuit equivalent circuit will be, this is open, so only 100 volt connected to 20 ohm resistor, connected to 30 ohm resistor, connected to this inductor, 
in series. So this was the circuit. So what will be the current flowing through this circuit? It is definitely 100 divided by 20 plus 30. So it is 100 by 50. So 2 ampere. So before time t equal to 0, that is at time t equal to 0 minus, current flowing through this circuit was V by R, 100 by 20 plus 30 equal to 2 ampere. I have drawn the equivalent circuit here. So this is 2 ampere. And now at time t equal to 0, suddenly we have changed the position of switch. And we know that inductor opposes sudden changes in current. That's why I of 0 plus is equal to I of 0 minus is equal to 2 ampere. Now put this initial condition in equation number 2 so that you will get 2 is equal to 5 plus C into E raised to 0 that is 1. So 5 plus C. So that is uh, 5 you take on other side. So you will get C is equal to minus 3. You got the value of constant C. You substitute this value of constant C in equation number 2. You will get equation of I of T is equal to 5 minus 3 into e raised to power minus 200 t amperes. This is the desired equation of I of t which we were interested to find. So I hope time is running out. That's why I'm uh, worried and... Uh, sir, sir. Yes? Sir, your topics and notes post on a group work. Notes already I have uh, send it uh, or uploaded it on the Moodle and if you want I resend it in the group okay okay sir and uh, your videos all these videos I am uploading it immediately after the lecture okay so um, I have solved n number of problems of this I think uh, it is 15 plus problems I have solved for this particular chapter and uh, these many problems are sufficient. So uh, once you will solve two, three problems, you will find that the procedure is same for solving all the problems. Okay, so simple are the problems. And uh, you can get 100 out of 100 marks for this particular subject. Okay, this is the analytical subject. And for analytical subjects, scoring is very easy. So you can score good marks in this particular paper. But provided you should practice, you should not read the subject, okay? And uh, um, uh, I'll send you all the notes, but don't try to copy the notes. You take the problem, try to solve on your own. And if you are facing any difficulty, then only you refer my notes, okay? So, um, as initially in first lecture only I told you that uh, you need not have to um, uh, purchase even a book. If you want to get good marks, you at least 